Yep, it's the Warrumbungle. So this is my mural at the Artist Shed. Um, I'm just taking a video here by myself. I'm just, uh, just thought I'd notify people in Canberra that this mural will be going shortly to Coonabarabra and back to where it began. And I, yeah, so it'll be here for another week or so and then I'll be dismantling it. And uh, if you get a chance, come and have a look or go to Crystal Kingdom in Coonabarabra where I'm reinstalling it up there. So this was painted uh, originally 37 years ago and um, I did it for a museum in um, a tourist complex called Miniland, which was my family's, family's park that they developed. And I also ran it at the time at, as well when I painted this. So the over the years though it went into dis, you know went into dis, almost disrepair but it wasn't I was able to repair it. It had white ants eaten holes in it and it was in a bad state. So a few years ago I asked um, a friend if if I uh, could find out what happened to it and I found it in a in a shed in the Warrumbungles and the the rangers there kindly gave it back to me. Uh, was was in a bad state, I have to say. Not no one's fault. It's just time, and uh, you know no one knew what to do with it. And it's really something only I could repair. So I brought it back in a in a truck and brought it back to Canberra, and slowly repaired it. And with the help of a friend called Les Worthington, he helped um, reconstruct the the rear side of it and uh, helped me do that. And uh, so I brought it back to its former glory, if not slightly better than its former gl glory. Uh, so putting rocks in, in front of it, you feel like you're, you're actually there. So it was um, something I spent a long time on back in the day, and then I've spent more time to repair it and, and bring it back again. So I'm really, really happy it's going back to Coonabarabra and back to where it started. And what it does, my feeling was to do this, was a, it's a location where you can't easily get to. You have to walk pretty well uphill to get to this location of the Grand High Tops. And sure, sure um, physically fit people or even half fit people can get to this place. But if you're not fit and you're not able to walk, you can't see it. So my thought was to show just how magnificent this scene is and so it was done done in a, a half circle into an area of the museum where we were where I was running the business. So it's um it's something I put my heart and soul into because I just love the environment, I love the Warrumbungles. It is quite extraordinary. So it's between Dubbo and Tamworth, halfway between. You must stop in there, stop and take time to to just smell this amazing mountain air and the, this beautiful environment, which unfortunately years ago was burnt right out, um, but it's it's coming back. And um, so it's still, it's returning as well, but it, it, it will take years to re completely recover, uh, but it still looks amazing. So this scene is painted in a pre-fire time that the, the um, now you'll see a lot more stark dead trees amongst the mix, but, um, Anyway, it is still glorious, and in some ways, a, a fire cleans up uh, areas as well. You see a lot more of the rocks. Uh, so anyway, I just thought I'd inform you that that's um, that this is about to move. If anyone would like to get a, a last glimpse, otherwise, you can just call in in Coonabarabra, uh, in the northwest area of New South Wales, and and go and have a look for yourself. Okay, cheers. Bye.